Hi and welcome to your reading for Friday, January 27th. Thank goodness it's Friday because it's been a very long week of some, um, I'll say, ripe with healing potential. Ripe with healing potential. Um, Venus Retrograde is making some last ditch attempts to show you what needs to be healed. So if, if it's been a particularly difficult week or situations feel... I don't, I don't know, tense or just um, causing stress. Not necessarily though. Um, maybe you've had some realizations or sudden clarity or you know your experience of this might be different. It's different for everybody. Um, then that is why. Okay, so deep healing potential this week. Look at that. Full moon Virgo, you are good enough. You are good enough. Self-worth. Message of self-worth here. Virgo, the um, sign of service and health. So this might be about setting some new routines to take care of yourself. Um, establishing some healthy habits. The new moon eclipse, which showed up yesterday morning. Expect powerful change. The new moon eclipse. Energy is gaining momentum. The waxing moon. Waxing moon. Anytime I see a crescent moon, for me, that's a sign um, of a time to build oneself up. It's time to really nurture oneself, build courage, build strength. And I think what it's trying to say really is that um, it's time to ground yourself and to set up some really healthy habits, things that make you feel very grounded because there is some powerful change coming. Very interesting stuff. The energy is gaining momentum. If you have set some new habits for yourself, maybe your New Year's resolutions are going really well. Uh, maybe that is the cause of some change in your life. Um, but in any way, consi the kind of consistency a, a resolution requires is just that you keep acknowledging that you deserve to have good and healthy things in your life, boundaries and habits and all that. So anytime I fall off a habit wagon, I just remind myself I am not a failure. I'm a practice. And so maybe that's some of the healing that's happening is um, telling yourself, despite it all, you are good enough. You're, you're showing up for yourself. And this energy is gaining momentum, as in you are showing up more powerful. You've, you're changing and you're becoming more, in, changing into a more powerful version of yourself. Because you're good enough for that kind of change. You deserve that kind of change and empowerment. I'm into that. Underneath we have the new moon, which you can't even see here. There it is. New moon, so there's an, a new beginning, setting new intentions, setting a direction. This is about going within. The fa you can't really see probably, but the face on the Virgo lady in the moon and the new moon card are kind of the same. Hmm. Then we have the Knight of Swords, King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Ooh, lots of movement here. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, three Knights so far, Temperance. Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Sasquatch, one more time.
So, first of all, there's three knights. Knights are always indicative of some sort of movement. Um, on either side of the Knight of Wands, I see the Six of Pentacles and Temperance, which is some really expansive energy, but also sort of give and take. So there's, there's a, Temperance I take as like the experiment card. Someone is um, trying out what it means to give and take what is the right balance of movement there's three different flavors of movement here there's the knight of swords the cups and the wands and the one that we're missing is the um the knight of pentacles which is associated with hard work diligence consistency that's why the full moon virgo is showing up here because that is that's what's needed that's what's being asked of us right now is to incorporate some sort of routine. It could be the missing piece. Um, maybe you feel that you don't, that whatever is required to establish some sort of routine or habit um, that could be a source of stability, maybe you feel like you don't have it, you don't have what it takes. Uh, maybe you are too reliant on somebody else providing that structure for you. You know, we, we are definitely, all of us, outside of the regular structures of our normal, perceived normal life at this point. And so it does seem to oscillate, you know, with every round of, um, with every heat of COVID right, of the pandemic flaring up. Um, I'm in the city, right, so things he are a little bit different here than, than in other places. However, it may feel out of character for you to stand up for yourself and say, I am good enough. But that's actually what's required here. You, there's the message I'm getting is the need to um, stand up for yourself by creating good healthy boundaries as in I deserve to tell myself even that I can achieve this or I can amount to this thing I am allowed to dream and move in this way I do deserve financial security I think that if this is resonating for you, you've probably been you've probably been the kind of person who has not had a second thought when it comes to helping somebody else, but like never could never do the same for yourself, you know. And so if you are now adapting this mindset that you deserve the best, Okay, that could feel a little bit different. It does mean that, you know, that is something that needs to be expressed outside of your own thought even, right? So this has, you have to sort of, how do you go out into the world and, and ask for what you deserve? Um, especially if you're a creative professional, which I know a lot of people who are probably watching this um, are creative people. You know, we struggle a lot with accepting our own worth even though deep down inside we know and we we know what we want we know what we're worth we know what the work is worth and yet it can feel like an adventure like an unknown thing every time we go to advocate for ourselves okay so this is the change that is occurring so self-worth starts with a body feeling and it starts with how you treat yourself every day um, and it's true but it's it, it's unfortunate but it's true but there is you have to have a balance between how much you give others and how much you give yourself and I think that based on what you do and who you are your own flavor of give and take 
that's gonna vary for every individual you know so that's what temperance is saying here that growth is growth lurks in experimentation you got to try a lot of a lot of different things try a little bit of that try a little bit of this uh, and that's the bit of wildness and it's okay that you don't get it right on the first try because the the more that you practice this the better you'll be okay and then this is a um, this is this is a new thing it's a new intention to set for yourself that six months from now you want to feel solid and secure in how you show up for yourself in in negotiations and in meetings and how you move through the world very interesting uh, read here it, it I was struggling at first about sort of general messages to come in and then I realized I was talking to a creative audience because of course of course I am I come from a creative professional back professional creative background in your heart and in your mind you know that something has to change in terms of your approach because um, I don't want to say that there's a lack of fulfillment. I think that, especially if you are a creative person, we take a lot of satisfaction from the work that we do. And to be honest, right, that that causes a lot of us to do things even when we aren't getting what we need out of a relationship or out of a partnership, business partnership, you know. Because there's inspiration, there's it is life for us to to have this very expressive very creative outlet and you know up until now or, or whatever that up until recently that might have been enough but it's no longer enough you are seeing this you know, if this resonates for you, you might be seeing this for the first time, that what, that, that those conditions can exist at the same time, uh, fulfillment and lack. And so, in a way, you're, you've ascended, right, above the noise. You can see yourself more clearly, um, and how this has been sort of operating, right? And where your place has been um, in the context of your relationship to, to others. How much you're giving away versus how much you, you really uh, keep for yourself, as in self-care, energy, investment into your own personal projects, investment into your own personal desires your own growth versus the ideas and the dreams of others. And I love that Sasquatch is here. You know, he's just saying, get wild with it. Get wild. <laughs> Actually, the message I think of this card is, wild is good, but when is too wild enough? Coming under temperance card, the card for me of experimentation, Try a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's gonna feel different, but it'll be good. Because the more you try different things, as long as you're, I think, expressing yourself authentically and following your heart, doing things out of, you know, action with, with truth leading your heart. That's um, the Knight of Cups. You can't go wrong. And I think it's almost like the more you fail, the more you'll learn. And uh, nobody can can really be upset with you for stand for for standing up for yourself and and asking for what you're worth because they value you, don't they? And if they don't, I mean, screw them. Um, I hope this resonates for somebody who needed to hear that today. I know that this is like a very common topic of discussion. 
<laughs> with a lot of a lot of the creative circles. Uh, so rise above the noise and um, do something that makes you feel good um, in your body. Because again, this week has been a tremendous week for for healing, and so there might be situations coming up that yeah, like where it will um, highlight you know your relationship to money, your relationship to um, how you feel about money or how you feel about the work that you do and how you carry yourself. It's okay to, you know, wake up one day and say I'm going to do things differently today or to say that next meeting I'll take, I'm going to, you know, I don't know, cut, cut the time in half you know, and then give that other half to, back to yourself. If that's what's required, if that's what makes you feel good. For each person, it will be different anyways. So yeah, I didn't intend for this to turn into a creative consultation, but um, there you have it, and happy to do it. So. Enjoy your Friday, enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you on the next one.